Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have listed out my top 5 must have books for you toddlers that will encourage a love for reading at this young age. So the first book I am going to talk about is Goodnight Moon by Margaret Wise. I do not think any home library should be without this book. This calming tale is so relaxing and the last picture of the room with the night sky showing through the window is one of the most beautiful pictures I have seen in a word book. So the book starts off in the great green room and states all the interesting items in the room. I think the book is great for developing observing skills in children uh, because this book talks about all the minute things it has in the room. The child looks for this little mouse who is present in all the pages. The movement of the moon in this book is also very fascinating. Children really enjoy observing the moon and with every page the moon is moving up and when they reach to the last page of this book they can see the full moon. This book will surely have you and your child yawning and ready to go to bed. This is just perfect. I'm attaching a little video of my child reading the same book when she was just 2 years old. Another book that I am going to recommend is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. This is another very captivating story. What I like about this one is that you are working on vocabulary words of different fruits, learning about the counting, days of the week and seeing how the caterpillar is transforming into a butterfly and learning about the life cycle of a butterfly. This is again a very captivating story and children really enjoy reading this book. Very tiny kittle killer hungry food. Then is one apple. one. Another book in my list is Baby Bear Baby Bear What Do You See? or Brown Bear Brown Bear What Do You See by Bill Martin and Rick Carl. It is a classic delight with bright colors and gentle rhymes. The repetitive structure makes it a perfect read aloud with very young children. They enjoy guessing what animal comes next. Another book that I would like to suggest is The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carl. It is a story of a spider building her web. A variety of farm animals approach her and ask if she wanted to do something that they like but each time she did not answer because she is busy spinning her web. In the end she finishes her web and catches a fly in her own web. So this book talks about the determination and the kind of work the spider does. You can use this book to introduce farm animals to your young ones. With every page there is a new farm animal coming into the picture. And you can also talk about the different sounds these animals make. And the last book that I would highly recommend is Monkey Puzzle by Julia Donaldson. In this book, the monkey has lost his mom and the butterfly is keen to help but it takes a while. They meet lots of other animals along the way. This book is fantastic for children learning language. It is full of phrases that kids can join in with. The best part about this book is that it includes lots of jungle animals that children can relate it with. It talks about the ability of these animals, their characteristics and their appearances. Thank you for watching. I have added all the books links in the description. Please find it from there. Thank you.